LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. There's no comparison to him. None. Does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating because I don't believe that there's a great player because our game is a team game and one player can't do it. Like, I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He's a horrible player. What did you say? He was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one. He's shooting bad shots. And all of a sudden, we become a team and we start winning. Everybody forgot who he was. Oh, my God. Uh... Scotty? No. Pip. That's your name from now on, Pip. What's gotten into you? What? Why are you doing this? What on earth could possibly behoove you to be so wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make something very clear. Opinions can be wrong. For example, if I were to say my sunshine, my everything, my reason for living, my personal goddess, Doja Cat, is the best female rapper in the game currently at a mainstream level. Sorry, I almost lost control. There's room for debate. There's room for argument. I'm open to being proved wrong. But when someone utters such disgusting blasphemy as Michael Jordan's rookie year was bad, he was a bad player. I walk up to them. I look them directly in their face within the depths of their soul. I take my glasses off. I don't even have glasses. I will go and buy glasses just to take them off. And I say, sir, you need to be incarcerated for the rest of your natural born life. I won't even read them their Miranda rights. You're not a person to me anymore. I expect that level of obnoxious stupidity from your average day-to-day -day person, but from a Hall of Famer with a story to career as Pip, having played alongside the man for the better part of his years, for you to utter such nonsense, Pip, Pip you don't deserve my anger. I'm not going to get angry. No, we're instead going to thoroughly investigate this buffoonery because apparently 28 points, six rebounds and six assists is bad. And eight points, four rebounds, and two assists is good. This is really too loud. The saddest part about this is MJ's rookie year is superior to the entirety of Scottie Pippen's career. Imagine getting outplayed by a rookie for 17 years. Then having the audacity, the unmitigated gall, 20-something odd years later to say, he wasn't very good. He was a terrible player. He didn't know team basketball. And then all of a sudden we started, all of a sudden we started winning? Did Jerry Krause or Phil Jackson go and collect the Dragon Balls and make a wish to Shenron saying, let us be the best dynasty ever? As you wish, farewell. Larsa, Larsa, please come back. Get your Hall of Famer. Put him in check. Stop letting MJ Sung bang down low with you. Please. Tim Legler put it best on ESPN. He's one of the few people I just genuinely like all the way through. He hasn't really said anything ridiculous or foolish or for entertainment purposes like some of the other people on there. He said it's ridiculous to speak this way. You've lost all credibility, Pippen. You're hurt. Hurt people hurt people. And I know you still feel some type of way about the Last Dance documentary where Jordan had that moment and talking about you not rising to the occasion. You didn't want to go and get up because you wanted to take the last shot and you did it. And he's like, well, he wasn't on the team then. So why is he talking about the Ika says because he can then talked about how well, the Last Dance documentary was all about Jordan. This is a team game. This is a team basketball. It's never just about one play. If it wasn't about Jordan people wouldn't have watched it. You probably had more people tuning in to see Dennis Rodman's exploits than to see Scottie Pippen's. Uh, let's just be honest. Let's be real. People would have found that more interesting than anything Scottie Pippen had going on. And it's no insult against him. It's just, that's the way some people are. They are, are, they are into buffoonery and fuckery and things. So when you offer something that is an expose or behind the scenes new footage that we've never seen before of who many people consider the greatest player of all time, of course, they're there because of him. And it's not like you didn't have numerous episodes where they showcased your defensive brilliance. 
highlighted how it was you picking up Magic Johnson at half court. It was you putting defensive pressure on the main offensive threat, another team, not just Jordan, because Jordan had to save himself offensively. And for you to do both an entire game and crucial playoff games, you're going to get drained. So Pippen, you were as much a part of those championships as anybody else on the team, not named Jordan. When Jordan left, you couldn't get over the hump. When he came back, you were able to go to the finals three more times. And Jordan has numerous times repeatedly praised Scottie Pippen, says, I'm not who I am without Scottie. Scottie played integral roles in those championships, but the only difference is this isn't a 1A, 1B scenario. This isn't Batman and Batman teaming up together like it was later on with Kobe and Shaq. This is Batman and Robin definitively. And you barely get up to Nightwing level at times. Jordan simply did not need you as much as you needed him. And I thought after Pip got through selling his book, talking shit about Jordan on Kelly and Ryan and everywhere else that'll have him. And the only reason people are even interested in the book is because he's talking about Jordan in there. I thought he'd chill out and stop. Okay, so you want to make money off of this book. I would never talk bad about my friends or somebody that I had a huge career with. I would never do that. It's just unprofessional and it's disrespectful. But you want to whore yourself out for money? Go ahead. The bridge between you and Jordan had probably been burnt somewhat already. So you're like, fuck it. Just make me more money. But for you to continue year after year, it doesn't stop. You're getting even worse. This man, Pip, called himself the GOAT at one point. He flip-flops like no one I've ever seen. First he said, first it was always Jordan. Then he went to LeBron may be better. Then he says, no way, Jordan's better. Oh wait, actually, I'm better. Actually, wait, Jordan's a bum. What are you doing? What has gotten into you? You need to stop immediately. You're not changing anybody's mind. The only people who will listen to anything that you're saying with some modicum of, oh, you know, you may be right, are down bad bronze sexuals. Everybody else with a, even a shred of basketball knowledge isn't taking you seriously. They've cast you aside, thrown you in the bushes as somebody who is off their wagon. But you're just going to keep talking about it. I don't know who, who are you doing this for? What benefit does this serve you? I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's sad. It's pathetic. This is like Kobe and Shaq. But it's even worse for some reason because there's no real, like, where does this beef come from? Where does it stem from? Kobe and Shaq, I understood it. But this here, I do not for the life of me grasp why. This is happening the way that it is. Pip just comes off as somebody bitter, resentful, upset that they were number two. They want to rewrite history. You're probably hearing it about from your friends and things. Oh, you know, Jordan, this Jordan, that Jordan, this. And every time you look at those rings, you're like, damn, Jordan, go to sleep angry every single night. This is you're going through a lot right now. Emotionally, Scott, I get it. But that's no reason to disrespect others. Chief among them, your teammate who's constantly put you on a pedestal. I ended up yelling and getting angry anyway. That's more than Pip deserves. I, 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 I promised myself I wouldn't and I did anyway. I'm not going to. This is done. I'm not letting this go 10 minutes. I could pull a typical YouTuber thing. Like and subscribe. And get, uh, but wait, I want to talk to you about my sponsor. No, it's over. We're done here. I want to thank you so much for watching. What do you think about Pip? Is he off his rocker? You think he has some merit or point? You're wrong if you think that. But I believe in freedom of speech and I don't delete comments. So you can go ahead and leave your blasphemy in the comment section if you want. So like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Oh my God.